So we're going to show you a Boom Live session today and how to set it up if you're on a piano lesson with your student using Zoom. So the way that it's working best in piano lessons right now to do a Boom Live session with piano students is if you're on a computer and your student is on a computer. So um, Melody and I are each gonna show you one of our decks. Um, in order to do that, first, um, we're both on Zoom. So for me to share my screen so that you can see how to set up a Boom Live session. Okay. So right now I'm gonna show you here in this deck. So you're gonna be inside of your Boom Cards library and you're gonna click Start Live Session for your students. And so, once you are here in this um, screen, you have the ability to turn on or off all these different toggles. So the deck that we're playing does not include typing, so I am not going to toggle that on. This navigation, if you leave this turned off, your student cannot progress forward to the next card. So they can't skip it, but they also cl can't click the submit button. So you kind of want to decide, do you want your students to have the capability of just dragging um and controlling the card and not clicking submit or do you want them if you want them to click submit you need to toggle on the navigation this notification shows you when a student has joined your session so you can see there and then this allows you to share a pin with your student so um so here is the link that i'm going to share with melody here i'm going to click copy and then you will have already set that up with your student, <laughs> but you may already want to have your student. Yeah, you're going to share that link with them. And so that just said Melody has joined. And so now you can see Melody's cursor over here. It says Melody's piano and you can see my cursor here. And when this little red light is on over here, it means you are in a Boom Live session. So I'm going to let Melody go ahead and drag um to go ahead and play the card for you so i'm going to drag the correct scoops to the cone to create a c flat major chord so we have c flat already and then i'm going to click and drag whoops e flat is what i need not c and not e e flat and then let go of it when the blue box lights up then g flat and let go and then I can come over here and tap submit. Now for anyone who's curious, I am in a separate window in my browser. So I'm in my own window and I'm playing this in my own window, but you can see it through the Zoom screen share from Kelly's screen share. So for a G flat major chord, G flat, and then here comes the B flat and D flat, submit, and that's how it works. B flat, D, make sure the blue box lights up to make sure that the scoop is in the correct place, and F. And if you want, you like to take turns with your student, I still have access to play this game while Melody's playing it as well. So you can see her cursor is still over here. I put those in the wrong spot because I'm talking <laughs> <laughs> upside down. That's so, okay. But I can still um, play as well. So, and I am not sure of the limit, but I know you can have at least four um, and possibly more. So you could use this as a group lesson. Mm -hmm. um, but for now, this is just a one-on-one. -on -one. That's what it looks like when you do a drag and drop deck. And Melody is going to show you a different kind of deck here. So I'm gonna... I love that you can take turns with your student. That's a really fantastic option. All right, here are my boom cards. And we are going to do this music math one. So I'm going to click action, start live session. And then for this one, Typing needs to be toggled on because the student's going to type the correct answer. And we're also going to turn on navigation so they can hit the submit button themselves. I'll turn on this one and this one. I just toggle everything on and then start the session. And I'm going to copy this link for Kelly. So we're going to skip the review card and go straight to 
the music math cards. And now I see that Kelly has connected. You can see her cursor scrolling all around. Yep. And then I can type and click submit as well. Is so great. So yeah, lots and lots of possibilities here. And then just like the drag and drop option, we can take turns with this one too. So I would type three, submit it. We have played around with, uh, with several different ways to do it. And for right now, um, it's working best for us computer to computer. So I know we use iPads too, um, and, and that is possible. Um, down the road, we might share more about that. So we hope this helps and we hope that you and your students enjoy the Boom Live sessions.